wanted women had to go to that island to um, cater to the prostitutes. I forget the name of the island. I think it was Lesbo or something like that. But my point is that these white men hated their women so much they literally banished them and got rid of them. And they all wanted to just hang out with each other. Just like now. You see that to this day. You can see men. It'll be a whole house full of them. No women anywhere. And then if there is a woman around, it's like, why is she here? And this is something that they're doing into the mindset of our young men. Making them all like to congregate around each other and all that stupid shit where it's disturbing to the world. It's very disturbing to the world because what it does is create an unbalanced society. You got all these people walking around here that look down on women and it's all because of religion. The Bible bashes women like never before. Especially that lie about them causing sin to be on the earth. That's a horrible lie and it is not true. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story like I said I was going to tell you. I didn't forget. Here it goes. I was going to the courthouse about the bike incident. And so I went into court and when I came out of court I was getting ready to go get on my bike and leave the courthouse. But as I went to my bike, there was two black guys out talking. And so when I started going to my bike, I seen one of the guys look at the other guy. I seen his lips move. They started whispering. It seemed like he said, that's that guy be bashing Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So I was getting ready to get on my bike and leave because I wasn't going to say nothing to them. Because I'm going to tell you the truth, I really don't like talking to black people because the only thing come out of their mouth is that Jesus shit and the minute you try to tell them you know what that is not my God as a matter of fact that ain't God you always got conflict with them and it never fails okay the, the black women more than anyone to be the first one to jump in your face and here you is a black man looking at them like you want to say now what the fuck do you think I'm going to be worshiping a white man as my God for and why are you doing you are a black woman you are the, the you are the pinnacle, the epitome of spiritual energy. It's all in your vagina. It's nothing but spiritual energies floating around in there because your vagina is a portal to bring souls back. And you mean to tell me you're going to sit up here and overlook all this greatness that the universe that made you be capable of giving birth to men and women coming back. And you are a melanated woman, meaning you have melanin all inside of you. And you sitting here in my face, you can't see my brown face and your brown face as a unique unit of togetherness. And then now you want me to incorporate some outside white man, the same white man that I know them raped us, beat us, sold us, castrated us, sodomized us, okay, denationalized us. And you want me to make him be my God. When it's totally impossible to do that because I'm too damn intelligent. And then you have the nerves as a black woman to sit up and say to me, Well, if you if you can't accept Jesus, then you're a heathen. And there's nothing really good for you. And I'm just going to have to ostracize you just like the rest of the world does. Because see, by me accepting Jesus, I can be privileged by the people who deprivileged me. And so I'm smart enough to know that. I'm a woman too and I have a vaginas and white men like black women's vaginas even if they don't like some of them like black men's penises but the ones that's not gay are mostly the ones that's out here that's the nice guys that as long as I play their game I don't have to worry about anything all I have to do is say I have a baby they would give me money to raise my child and at the same time they would encourage me to get rid of my black man so it's easy for me to see no need for a black man unless I can find me one that's going to be really really henpecked and do whatever the hell I tell him to do and that includes we will be sitting our ass up in church on Sunday at 11 o'clock when the tornadoes come because that's how I get down I am a black woman hear me roar I have my white man God with me and I am a black woman and I don't need a black man so if a black man doesn't want Jesus then I'll just walk around forever by myself with Jesus. And I'll tell you that too when you say hello to me and try to be nice and say, so why are you walking all alone by yourself today? Would you like some company? And then you can look at me and say, no, because I'm not alone. See, because I have Jesus with me. 
and I want to say to you, no, see, you have a case of idiocy with you. That's what's going on. You don't know that. See, if I walked up to you and told you that I was walking with Rita, and you looked, and you did not see anyone around me, you would say that I'm a damn fool. But if I tell you I am walking with Jesus and you look and you don't see anyone around me because you believe that Jesus is with you too you'll be able to believe that see how freaking stupid they made us all be you can't see Jesus I can't see Jesus but we both believe that Jesus walks with me you know I can't be Jesus Myself, no, I gotta have an imaginary white man that you can't see. You know, when you want to kick his ass or make his ass be held accountable for all the promises that he didn't deliver, he can't be found. No more Santa. So <clears throat> I come out of the court house. I see these two fools. They sitting there talking. They get to whispering just like bitches. I tell you, that's all they do. <laughs> That's all they do, you know. So I just walk up. I'm going to get on mic. So one of them says something. Hey, hey, hey. So I'm like, whatever. I go there and get to talking to them. He asked me a question. I started talking to him. Next thing you know, here the Jesus shit come. Okay. Because this white guy walked up. And while me and him was out being, me and the, the two guys was out there talking. One guy, he just had so much hatred in him. You know, I could just see it. I thought to myself, this wicked motherfucker. You're so in love with Jesus, you understand. And what they hate is my intelligence. I already know that. That's what that's what every black people have. A problem with seeing other intelligent black people that's not afraid to stand up in this world and tell everybody, you know, we need to make some serious adjustments. We are all on the road to death. You know, when you be the person that's all going to say something like that, you get your biggest adversary from other black men. Now I'm just telling y'all the truth. Out of everybody on this planet, the people that show me total disregard more than anyone is black people. You know, the Mexicans, they don't even say shit to me. They, when they see me or whatever, they just look at me and they don't say, women, Mexican women, the Spanish women, they are really nice. They always greet me with warmth and everything. I know a whole lot of them. I don't know them, know them, but I know them because I see them. I see them in stores, everywhere I go, and they're always 100% genuine, right? I mean, for a long time, I was eating Fred Myers because I used to go to that library over there. So, you know, when my homeless thing started, I was, and I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of being victimized by this country. There's been slavery, there's been wars, there's been everything that's implemented by the Jesus family, meaning these racist ass white politicians who gave you that Jesus shit, them damn Jews, okay? They have always set up circumstances for people to fail, all right? It's just that some people are so damn stupid, they can't see that, all right? When that dirty ass cracker that died and he's getting his ass into a bunch of shit right now that he wish he would have listened to me, because right about now, I, I bet where he's at, he's everywhere he go, he see me there. He's walking around. That's my ass everywhere. The jailers. Everything that's going on, it's me. And he's sitting here saying, I had this guy in my house. I could have did so much better for myself than what I did. But instead of me listening to him and seeing that God light in him, I wanted to be an old, dirty, sorry ass cracker because that's all I've been all my life. But look at me now. I'm in, the, I'm in his hall. Everything here is him. His family, everything. And they all bear testimony of the type of experiences that I had with this God. When he told me he was God, and he told me that I was God, but I wanted to rely on Jesus, and I didn't listen to him, and Jesus taught me how to be rude as hell to non-white people, as well as white people. So now look at me, I'm all up in his hall of justice, and come to find out this guy really is God. So I'm really here. Everybody I'm warning you all right now, all this stupid shit that you all done did. You know what's really sad? When you have family members that can't see you, all right? And the Bible, all those books I read, they told me that. They, it said the ones that's going to hurt you the most is going to be your own children. They always conspire against Ra. That's what it said. 
See, anytime you have a nation of people on the earth that's going to find completeness in the image of a white man that you have never saw other than a sketch that someone gave you. And then you see the sun rising every day, okay, bringing life force to the earth. And someone comes along and say, you all been misled. This right here is just a sketch. I can take this and wipe my ass with it. If I put it under the tree, the birds, they're not going to sing to that. But when the sun rises, the birds will sing to the sun. But they're not going to sing to this picture of Jesus. They will shit on that picture of Jesus. So you guys need to try to get the intelligence that the animals have. See, they all know what the sun is. They don't give a rat ass about Jesus. They know when they see Jesus, they better run because Jesus is going to shoot them and eat them. And they know that. There was a time on earth when animals were not as afraid of humans as they are now. That's from you Europeans. The, the movie I was watching, Buffalo Bill, he brought his ass out on the prairie one day with a rifle and a bag full of bullets and he sat there all day and didn't do anything but kill buffaloes the hide they claim but we know they killed those buffaloes because they knew that the buffaloes was the food source for the native people that was here when they arrived here so they killed the buffalo to eradicate the population of the indigenous people this is how horrible of people you are you didn't mind destroying the buffalo because you wanted to destroy the people so if you don't mind destroying the people how could you have love for the buffalo it's impossible isn't it so you guys don't have love for anything but well and albinism. That's the reason why now, even though you see these spaceships flying around this planet, and I'm telling you that that's my family here to kill all y'all asses. Y'all still want to eat sandwiches, drink beer. Even though you didn't saw how they get down, they didn't just destroy their noise. Indiana and Ohio, all in one day, killed probably seven, eight thousand of y'all white asses. Jews too. A lot of them Jews, I know they tore their ass up. Gonna do it again. All over Illinois. It's gonna wipe y'all ass completely out of this whole equation. Y'all ass is getting the hell out of here. Every real evil motherfuckers are gone. Time over. Lights out. Get the fuck out of here. That's really the truth. Excuse my language, but some things you just gotta say it the way it needs to be said. Okay? So they didn't set up this world with all of their deprivation and their neglect. Created homelessness, created joblessness, created poverty created homosexuality, okay, created all these drugs, create all these wars, okay, so now, I come out the courthouse, they stand out there, we all get to talking, they start talking about Jesus, and I'm sitting here, I can't believe them, here we are, three black men together, three melanated men, all of our asses, done been through the my alpha with them they slavery shit and every damn thing these two bastards sitting here trying to make me feel like there's something wrong with me because i'm a black man that's well aware of the fact that there is no god out there other than myself for me i'm not saying that this guy can't be a god but he is his own god he can be my god if he can see god in me but if he can't see god in himself and he can't see god in me he can't do any godly stuff for me or him because first thing he gonna do is rely on Jesus. So me and him, whatever we do to get our work done and get things accomplished, he gonna wanna get Jesus credit for it. Well, if it wasn't for Jesus, we, Jesus made the trees grow. Nigga, there was life on earth millions of years before Europeans showed up with that Jesus shit, okay? So Jesus is nothing but a European control device to control the masses with. That's all it is. You're not gonna sit here and tell me a damn thing about Jesus when you see all these spaceships flying around the earth right now and you guys want to love Jesus so much that you just gonna overlook them and all y'all is smart because none of y'all open your mouth and say it's Jesus driving the spaceships and since it's not Jesus flying the spaceships it's got to be evil you know we done had war after war after war after war people hanging, people lynching, castration, rape everything evil that you can imagine but now all of a sudden just because these things fly around the planet, they got to be evil. No, they 